Okay, one shot started. All right. All of you are on the planet Fashi. Bountiful cities, thriving environment. There are pockets throughout the land that are the bad lands. They're remnants from this war that happened many ages ago, a hundred years ago, exactly, almost to the day. Celebrations are common throughout this time of year, celebrating the defeat of the the demonic hordes that plague the land at the hands of the champions of this land. The three are protectors of the realm who have vanished off into obscurity, but nevertheless, they are heroes and they should have been worshipped for that world is in an age of adventurers fawning over exploits of other heroes trying to get their name as to be on the same level as the three although no one has gotten there yet all of that doesn't matter there are no celebrations for any of you because you all are an adventuring party who have popcorn wow god this is stupid all of all of you are an adventuring party who have been trying to steal from a dragon's horde. Okay. All how many of the how many of you are there? Five. There are five of you, and all five of you have been an adventuring party for almost a year. You all have your own goals for getting money specifically. Uh, those don't need to come up to me. I have them all written down. But all of you want money to serve your goals to get individual objects. Some might be cures. Some might be uh, to save your family. But you all need money. You thought the best way to get it was to steal from a dragon sword. Like that was do. stupid. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you are now, all five of you, running desperately through the forest because you found out that is a very bad idea. The dragon uh -huh. is an ancient blue dragon who is trying to kill you right now. It is right now at the outskirts of a tap at the outskirts of like the horizon. You can see the dot. You know it has your scent and it is traveling to come get you right now. You found out that the dragon's horde the dragon's kind of insane. You thought it was a whore filled with gold. The dragon has gone insane and it's gotten it's gotten some form of disease that's caused madness and the horde is a horde of blood, flesh, kills that he has amassed in a big pile of bodies. You all are running from him. Huh? What are you doing as you run through the forest? Oh. I will, um, so, so we do all kind of know each other then? You've been traveling for yeah. a year together. You guys are yeah. an established party, you know your strengths and weaknesses, you're, mm -hmm. but, uh, some, uh, uh, various members of you are a little closed off than others, so, even though you've been traveling for a while, you don't know everything about each other, but keep going. All right. Uh, my character is frantically praying to the three and is specifically asking he's like oh, oh colt colt please come get us help us colt oh, we need the hammer beautiful uh anyone can roll a perception check um I'm sure dead. but i actually know what i will do to expedite oh. my retreat if that's okay Ha <laughs> 23. 21. 15. Perception. 21 perception as I run yelling, I told you this was a bad idea. Who got higher than a 20? 20. Ooh. I did. 23. 20, 20 or higher? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Everyone got, got 20 or... Zero. Rob, what did you get? Uh, I... Uh, perception? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's roll. Uh, I got a 16. 16. Okay. Uh, 
whoever got a 15 and 16, you see the dot, the blue dot that you were chasing as you're like looking behind. Uh, your back slur on the horizon here, even miles away. Ooh. As it is. What's up? The turn is to speak. That there was some, uh, there was some like lag. Oh, in I the thought chat. I thought Rob was trying to say something. There was some lag in the chat. I didn't catch. Oh, that. okay. Try it one more time. Oh, can you hear me now? Is everything good? Yeah, it was just some. It was literally lag. I think because I was logging in to roll. Oh, all to, right. To D and D Beyond. <laughs> all right, you're good. Okay, uh, everybody got sixteen, fifteen, or lower. You see the dragon getting larger. Miles away as it is, you can still hear, I I smell you. I fucking smell you. Flesh for the horde. Flesh for the pile. You're mine. You're mine. <laughs> you can hear that just I hate it. Oh from my God, miles I hate away. It. <laughs> Everyone who got a 20 or higher, you see what's on the screen. To your left, as you're sprinting, it's coming up as you're running. There is this door a door embedded into the side of a tree. It the tree doesn't look like it should like it should have this. It's just like somebody stuck jammed it into the side of this huge tree. There's a lamp on the side of the tree and there is a man in a there's a man in a purple vest sitting outside of it just uh oh actually no. No, there isn't. There isn't. Yeah, there is not a man outside of it. There is just a door. There is just a door. How big is the door? Yeah, there's just a door. How, how big? You know, uh, big enough for any like meat. Uh, actually, big enough for a yeah, fairly large creature to get inside. To get inside, you feel like you can. It, you would be able to open it. It looks wooden. It looks right. like a wooden door. Now, I think like now. Door. You're about like at the end of the almost at the end of the tree line, like right over this like glowing mass of trees. Like as the trees like part, you see like it's just open field past this. If you keep on running, it's there'll be nowhere to hide. Uh, I Guys, I say tree. we keep running. I'm gonna grab Tim's. <laughs> you bastard. Uh. I, I I would like to try to suplex the door off its hinges. Oh my god! It the a suplex, specifically a suplex, yes. like like jam, like jam it, like He's just gonna... shoulder, like shoulder, <laughs> open it. He's gonna like yeah. open it, take it off its hinges, then get it in I like, like a, like a <laughs> maneuver, <laughs> and have it tap out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. And power dive the door. Right, 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 right. Roll to attack. I don't know. You <laughs> open the door. <laughs> you open the door. You open the door. Blackness. It is daytime. It's it's around uh what time would it be? Uh, seven. Uh it'd be around five o'clock. It'd be around five o'clock. Sun is out. There's but still time. no no sunlight is breaking the door. It just looks like jet black. How about some uh, you, arcana like an arcana check to see what uh, we're looking at? What what happened if I went in there? Give me and, give know. me an arcana check. Um, while you're doing oh, that, it's a nine. Dibs rushes past and goes, "Oh, thank Polar, thank the hammer!" And he jumps through. Um, and that uh, may be the last you, you ever see of him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. You would, you might know what this is. Dibs. Yeah, Dibs might know what this is. Oh, uh, does he check? Roll it. Roll a history check. check. Uh, roll a history check. You're kind of frantic right now. Uh, yeah. Every, you see everyone else. You see you were low on the perception check for the door, so everyone is just like, "You're panicking. You're starting to realize what everyone else is seeing." I rolled a nat one. <laughs> you run through the door. You don't know what this is. You're running through the door. You're it, scared. It could have been you're a terrified. dragon. Another dragon's mouth. I would have ran into it. You're ter- <laughs> you're terrified. Uh, wait. What was what? Uh, Alex. What, yeah, what was your character's check. name? What was your character's name, Alex? Right, the gear says. Oh yeah, why aren't you activated? What do you mean activated? Uh, in roll 
uh, in D and D Beyond, your character was an. Hey, okay. yeah, yeah, your I... character shoulder checks the door, opens it, and then Dibs rushes past you, and goes inside. Quixus actually follows close behind. Who who did the Arcana check? I did. Uh, Justin, what did you get again? A nine. Nine. It doesn't look dangerous. Like you like get up to it, you stick your hand through the darkness. It's not like it's it's not like physical. There's no like inky like substance that's making it super black. Nothing's touching mm-hmm. you. It's just super dark. It looks like just an enchantment that is making it very dark. But right, it doesn't look harmless. Pass. It looks harmless. Look inside. Okay. Yeah. Does everybody go inside? Yeah. I already followed dibs right after. Only him, so. over half my party goes inside. Do I go inside? Because I was about to try to outfly the dragon, but I see that that may not be possible. You can a hundred percent fight the dragon. Uh, no, no, no. I meant outfly. Oh. Fashion- Oh, out of the dragon. Under 20 feet speed. During this time, is Dibs just spinning sure. in an alternate, like, in-between space, no, 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 no. between dimensions? Like, you guys, is cursing you guys all... Him. No, no, no. You all get inside the door. You all get inside the door. The door automatically shuts behind you the second you get in. Oh, no. It's just I'm dark. Really you don't even it. see the door behind you. I angrily kick the darkness. And, <laughs> and then... As but you still like see everyone. It's still black. It's like uh, what is it? Stranger Things. It's like all black, but you still like see each other clearly. Oh yeah. Are we standing in the... water? No, 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 no. Okay. Are no. you falling? It actually feels like stone, like stone on. And as you're trying to like figure out how far does this darkness go, where am I? You then see there is a new person. A, it looks like an old man and. That has like a wizard's hat, like a it's very like a very like Mickey type wizard, Fantasia, long robes. It, it, but he looks like a like a human, like a human man. It's, welcome, welcome, adventurers! You've uh, you've made it, you've made it to the plaza. Welcome, welcome, just all the riches. And power that you could ever want are at your disposal. Just uh, excuse, please, excuse sir, me, sir, sir, sir. Yes. Where is yes. the restroom? The the rest the restroom. Uh, that uh, all questions should be uh, waiting to the end of this speech. You see, he's looking at his hand a little bit. All questions. Need to be uh, now. All of you must stay together as you enter the plaza, and uh, you should have your badges. Yes, your badges, the magical badges that will leave you access to where you're not. you none of you are wearing your bat. Where are your badges? My, Does anybody can any, need no any lanyards? My, my quarter or cap Goliath. Um, Dude steps forward in his uh, chainmail bikini, and uh, yes. he proceeds to go. What school of wizardry are you from? Um, uh, oh, oh my, oh my, you're very intimidating. Um, could you um just get um um all right um uh this isn't this I wasn't really. Could you, could you, could you not? I don't really know. I don't don't really know like the improv for this. Uh, Could you, uh, you realize this guy, this is not like a, this is not actually a wizard. This is, uh, this doesn't, this doesn't look like a real person. This guy, this guy looks like he's cosplaying as Gandalf. He has like a big beard and a wizard's hat. The beard is, is like peeling the closer it gets to like the edge. And he's wearing like old man makeup, and it's and he starts to look right, well, just like uh, uh, guy, guys. I, I'm very sorry. Um, you guys, th- this entrance for this place is supposed to be for the VIPs. Uh, what? How? How did you? You know what? Let me get my supervisor. No security. I I, right. I whisper to the to the party. Hey guys, just 
just play around, play along, all right? We got this. Uh, yeah, VIP, why, you, of course, of course, you're looking right at the VIPs uh, I, of the plaza. I, That's I who we right. are. We are VIP. Yes. My, right, my but I just need to know. Hmm? My character, upon so, hearing uh, Bob's character's suggestion, Rob's, Rob's character's suggestion, sh- shakes his head in agreement with uh, them, proceeds to step forward and be like, VIP, do you not know who I am? I am with the WWE. How dare you besmirch me? We are all VIP. Yeah, dude, dude. Yeah, there's like, there's like a lot of the WWE people here. Do you, I? I mean, they had like a their own separate interest. Do you have like a? Uh, do you have? Uh, I think their event is actually, their event is actually next, uh, uh, like on Tuesday. That's not. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of them are like grouping up right now. But uh, what business does someone uh, in a forest have with world wildlife endangerment? No, it's wizard be- wrestling entertainment. Yeah, the, the face. this wizard, the wizard guy, fully like nods and just goes, "Yeah, wizard wrestling entertainment." What? What do you? Do you okay. not? Do you not watch on the streams? All right. Anyway, can I just get my? Get, can I just? Can, can I get my bosses? Well, before can, can you I, before can, you go and get someone who has authority. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just just take a minute and think about what would happen if you inconvenience the the most VIP people. Um. Of well, the the plaza, where uh, are roll, our gift bags? Where are our uh, treats? Roll uh, intimidation check. I believe it's called swag. <laughs> that that was the weakest. I rolled an eight. Two plus six. This guy, this kid, looks you up and down, and it's clear he looks you up and down. I go, we will with break look- your spirit if you go and get nope. this. <laughs> yeah, he looks at you with the with the fear of a college kid with an art degree who has a boss that he is a lot scareder, scareder of than you. So he just goes, I'm going to just come, just follow me. And he opens, he, he touches what looks to be just more darkness and another door appears. Slowly, it just manifests through the darkness. Grabs the handle, opens it. Like that door too. I mean, he was opening it for you, but yeah, you bust you bust it open through there. I, I got the door on the way through. Awesome. You barrel through. As you do, you you enter into what can only be described as the largest inn that you've ever seen seems to be a like it just looks like a giant inn and like next to your entrance you go through a door but next to that entrance there seems to be just this long expanse of people just the long wrapping line around this hotel that seemed to go all the way up to, if you look down past these stairs that you first walk in, it looks like it goes down to like where like a check-in place would be at a hotel, but just this long line of people. And as you're looking around this line, there are every single race that you could possibly imagine. And I, it looks like, Every single one of these races are cosplaying as some other race. Okay, I do want to ask, you, is uh, this college kid leading us along the line, uh, or are we passing the people in the line? Nope. Is there a red velvet there, rope? <laughs> there, there is... There are two doors that are almost like next to each other. It seems like the main line that everyone seems to be in is coming out of the door that's right next to yours. Your line snakes with your line that you've like walked out snakes with that other line up to the front of the up to the front of the line, but is uh, red velvet uh, 
it is like red velvet type uh and we're just walking off. past all these people absolutely uh hold on <laughs> yes here, here you go yes vip bitches here you are oh and oh my God. yeah uh dibs is this... rubbing it in the face of everyone that he pa he doesn't know where he's going but he just knows that other people are Every... waiting and he's special uh everyone may this is the entrance you guys are coming in on I can't. I didn't really have time to draw like a separate line, but just imagine there is a separate line right next to all these people. But yeah, if you see this line of people that's going, that's going all the way to the front. This is the kiosk that everybody seems to be going towards, right? Okay. Now, everyone, roll perception checks. What this die? Ugh, mm. Eleven. Seven. Math. I got a 19 plus 3. 22. Got a 5. 17 plus... 25. Okay. Who got above a... Who got a 15 or above? Dibs. Dibs. Okay. And me. Uh, dibs calls dibs. Quixis. Uh, what did you, what'd you get, Quixis? 25. 25. 22. Dibs. Good. Okay. I don't think beer is a Dibs. Really choking on beer. Oh, Dibs. Come on. <laughs> sure. Dibs, you're obsessed. Dibs, you're obsessed with the three. You are the biggest fanboy that the three have ever seen. You are obsessed with them. You love them so much. You are almost an acolyte. Of yeah. I mean, I do. Almost. Run the pre I'm the president of the, the three fan club fan fiction. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are the biggest fan. And you're seeing, like, most of the people in this line, you see, like, they're, like, cosplaying different <laughs> things. But they are, like, some of them are cosplaying as members of the three. There's, like, two or three of them that are, like, you see, like, one guy in line is, like, dressed at what can only be described as uh, Derek, the... The helpful barkeep that the three first uh, th first met in the end, where they first became an adventuring group. That oh, that guy's dressed as uh, Sarah, the love interest from the uh, from uh, one of uh, cults, one of the threes. Like uh, this fan fiction that was made about one of the three. It's you seen this looks like a convention for them. It looks like a celebrate this whole place. There are banners everywhere that looks. It looks like this is all dedicated to them. When, this is this when, is like your mecca. When Dibs when, realizes this, he literally grabs his chest and grabs the nearest person next to him, like in a death grip, and he goes, "Oh my god, my th this is have we died? We're dead. We're dead. This uh, is it. We're dead. This is heaven." Uh, Gearfist, uh, he is uh, Gearfist. Dibs is. Uh, Grabbing you tightly, grabbing your, is he grabbing your arm my tightly, and just like shaking. Is he grabbing my Modron arm or my flesh arm? I'm I'm grabbing whatever's yes. at hand, buddy. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's grabbing um, your he's grabbing your metal arm, just like ah, just fanboying out. Just oh my god, look at that! Look at that! Oh my god, look at that! Look at that! Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, just, uh, just spazzing near, out. Near he's fainting. Right. We died, and we're now in hell. <laughs> my, my, my my character has two reactions. Um, first off is a freaking nerd, and second uh, is I see Flex as character. Now, um, fair. A grapple check, <laughs> not, not, not for damage. Uh, I go down like a wet rag. I've got a stats, roll. you don't need to roll. You, you do not need to roll. You don't need to roll. I've seen the stats. <laughs> all, all, the, all the 18th race check. <laughs> Now, um, oh, sorry, it's so hard remembering all of your names. Uh, Justin, we've known each other I'm about Brian. Three. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. That was a good one. Uh, what is, Perhaps Brian, what is your... It's the same thing. I don't think anybody can hear Quix... me. No, no, you're Quixis. Uh, I'm Quixis, yeah. Shit. Yeah, yes, you're Quixis. Quixis, you roll a 25, right? Yes. 
as you're walking past this line up to the front, you see that there is a, you, you pick up what is one of like many flyers. And they say it's like a wanted poster, which is weird for a hotel, but like there are a few on some of the poles here, on some of the walls. Wanted, Ben Wire. And it seems like a lot of gold. It, it seems to be like a lot of gold. But then you look a little closer at like the, the paper, like, wait, how much gold is this? It's like, it's in Jim. Jim worth, Jim worth 1,000 relevant. It's like, you don't know what that means. There are no, like, there's no currency that means gems in your, there's no currency that has anything to do with gems. That's what it says. Uh, you guys uh, make it up to the front? Sure. Uh, this is the front of the line right here. Uh, oh. If, uh... you're, basically, you're basically on this side right here. And I have just realized I don't have tokens for any. <laughs> I need to find... <laughs> we'll just flash Christ. our color rings. In yeah. the general area. Yeah. You can just, uh, uh, but you might total. need token. You might need tokens. If you want to just but, make generic color tokens, you could. After suplexing. Yeah. Yeah, you can just search them. After, after suplexing Rob's character, I will gently pat him on the head as gently <laughs> as a order work the wife can I'm, and let I'm, him be honest. I'm out. I'm unconscious. I'm gone. I couldn't. It was I, too much. I had to do for non-lethal damage on the head. <laughs> Okay, I come to, and I still don't believe what's going on. <laughs> okay. And I'm back. Uh, I'm back. Okay, I had the weirdest dream. I swear, I woke up. Oh, yeah? I had a dream that everyone was dressed as the three, and oh, my God. Oh, oh my nerd. God, it's still happening. Was it scary? No. Have you ever had a, a, a wet dream? <laughs> Oh God! No. No. Oh Jesus! Well, you see, when two professional wrestlers love each other very much, they can share a special wrestling suplex. I'm so tired of this group. <laughs> I've been traveling with this group for way too long. I can't believe I haven't murdered all. Of oh wait, I'm talking out loud again. My bad. My bad. I fully expect you to uh, kill us at some point. You know, you never know when I will, and that's what's fun, I think. Well, it's still a joy to be traveling with you under the name of the three. Okay. In in the name of the three, not under. Okay. That would be uh, blasphemous. Okay, you guys all have, like, character art, right? Ooh. Um, yeah. Do you all have your, do you have your images? One your images for your character yeah. art? Yeah. Uh, okay. Can you put there all that in the chat for me? Do you want me to pause it real quick? Uh, I can't find the big version. I did. But a month ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pa but yes. Pause it. Uh, pause it. Keep on going. Keep on Unpause going. No, this is good. This is, well, this right, is the right. stuff we want. This is the... Digging up pictures. Yeah, this yeah is this, is behind this is what they folks. want. This is what the people are. And Justin, yeah. I heard you make the same joke as me at the same time. That's why I said yeah when you said after four years. So I'm acknowledging okay. that I did hear you. Okay, cool. Well, it's kind of going crazy for a second. Yeah. Okay, so I'll make tokens for all these guys in a second. It'll only take a second. But as you make it up to the front of the line, you all see uh, what is the what is the hotkey to like enlarge a picture to like uh, oh yeah that's such uh, a cool shift move. Z I think shift Z I believe so or alt something option I don't know. Try Shift Z. See if that works. Uh, regular Discord. Shift. You have to have the have the item selected. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. As you get to the front of the, as you get to the front of the uh, line. You see this man. 
Seems to be young, maybe in his like early twenties. Might he doesn't even look old enough to drink. Uh but he's the one uh just like moving people. He's like there are people like coming up to him and saying like okay, uh it just yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. You're good. You're good. Take the, you take this. This is your swag bag. You're good. Go, go. Okay, you. Yeah, you signed in on the. Yeah, you signed in like a few months ago. Yeah, you're good. I don't care. What's next? But he sees you guys. Uh, whoa, 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 what, what's up? What's up? What's up? You good? Uh, why? Sir. Are you? Sir. 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 What are we here for? I don't know, drinking? That's what everybody else is here for. And, you know, cosplay sex, but... Yes, sir, we're here for the drinking. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay. where are your badges? Where are the WWE? Badges. Not today. Where are your badges? We don't need no stinking badges. And I uh, uh, cast suggestion on him. Read me suggestion. Uh, he has to make a save, and he has to do what I tell him to do. For a Force of activity, which has led us in to drink. Uh, and magically influence him. He has to do that. Uh, and wisdom save. On a failed save, he pursues, oh. pursues the course of action. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Don't we have a rogue in the party? Yes. We pull up. Can you acquire us some badges? If this fails, yeah. He 100% just knocks out. He rolled a one. I, <laughs> I was mid, like, I was mid pulling up his stats. He rolled a one. He yeah, dude, is just like, like absolute, absolutely. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> sure. It's like, it's like, uh, in, uh, um, Oh, the Jungle Book, uh, you know, Ka, yeah. when she... When she trust, trust in me. Badges. Yeah, absolutely. You're, yeah, you're in the VIP line. You don't need... I don't fucking care. And uh, you notice to the left standing here is a man watching all of this and all this laughing his ass off <coughs> this guy okay he is in different clothing he's watching you like fully like charm this guy this kid and you start to look at him like is this this guy's father or oh, no. this this guy looks like his father he seems like a boss but he looks like his father but then you look close like this could almost be the exact same guy, but just older. And he walks over and just like, dude, 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 you're fine, you're fine. It's it's good, you're good, you're good, you're good. And like taps the little, the younger guy on the back shoulder, just like, oh god, dude, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, what's his name? What are their names? <laughs> yeah, uh, ro yeah, trick, trick, trick trick keep going keep keep going just it's right. it's fine trick the oh. older one is like tapping the little one on the shoulder on the shoulder like trick it's okay it's okay i got this i got this kid i, you I got up with your i got own names <laughs> no 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 <laughs> like, Dude, you no cannot. if i could it's like trick it's fine it's fine he walks up and says all right all right all right i'm rome everything's fine yes Clearly, you all right, 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 right. <laughs> Please, you all are you all are definitely VIP, and you need and you need to be inside. That I, I don't clearly, clearly. Yes, let let me guess. Let me guess. You found. Is. Let me let me guess. You found a door. You found a door, right? You found a door. You came through the door. My man, we are VIP. There was a what door is the, involved. What's this? Can, what people here? What? You don't know. Great. We don't. It's fine. You don't need. You don't need that. Clearly, you're here to help. Welcome to the plaza. 
don't worry. I'm here to help. It's okay. I'm the concierge. I'm going to take care of you, all right? Guys, last time I, I you went know, with a stranger, it did not go well. It, look. It went to very, up. very... I, I, did not, I had a rough night. Yeah, I think that was when we that was when we kidnapped you, right? That was when you kidnapped me. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, been. That was, I, I remember. I that. still have nightmares. Uh, I have nightmares. Is, I love when you have those. I'm you keep, there every night, just fucking <laughs> them up. This is a shit group. Look, 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 y'all, y'all, y'all. Look, look, look. I'm the concierge. I'm sort of running this place, and. You're not VIPs. That's clear. That's clear to me. That's clear well, to everyone. But not this guy. If you found a door, that means the plaza wants you to be VIPs. So you're good. You know, it's about time the, we got some recognition. I'm not gonna lie. Don't let it go to Why your not? head. It's don't let it go to your head. It's probably an accident. Fucking. Anyway, look, look. This place has a mind of its own. Sometimes if there are problems, it finds people that it thinks it can solve those problems. Now, normally, I would give you a big spiel and, like, suss you out and figure out your strengths and weaknesses, but clearly, I got a, I got a whole bunch of people here, so I don't got time for all that shit, all right? So just, you're going to do, so just follow me. I'm just going to tell you what you need to do to help me, all right? As he's saying, as he's saying this, uh, I think Trick is like over here, trying to usher the line to come over this way. As that's happening, right over here, you see that there is a goblin pushing a drink cart. He's wearing like a little ops uniform, and this goblin. Yeah, this little goblin is pushing a drink cart's menu, uh, a drink cart, sort of near the line. Uh, there, I think you saw like one other goblin with like this, uh, with bellhop uniform as you were coming in. This goblin is the first one you've seen with like drinks. The crowd is starting to take notice of you, and the crowd is starting to get pissed. You can start seeing like murmur as you've been having this conversation. You said like a few times, uh, like, like this, the concierge. He said a few times, like, you guys don't know why you're here. You've alluded like you don't know why you're here. The crowd is getting a little pissed. You see, like these guys might have been waiting in line for a long time. Some, some of them are just like fuck. It's like fuck this. They can get up to the front. Fuck these people. They don't even know. They don't have badges. I got my badge in the mail. Like. Fucking last year, I paid in advance. I love coming here. This is my favorite place. <laughs> why do they? Why can't get special treatment? I'm fucking Jordan. Jordan the uh, what are they called? Uh, uh, uh damn it. Remembering names are hard. Am I getting uh, flashbacks? Yeah, great page. <laughs> I'm joining the great pages. The great patriots have it right. Fucking. This is exactly what Ben Wire is trying to stop. Fuck these people. And you start to see like a small riot is erupting right over by the goblin. The goblin looks terrified. He's like, yeah, fuck this. And they start like breaking the ropes for the line. And a large, a small assortment of them are like running over towards the goblin to like steal his drinks. This little goblin. All right. Um, well, it, you know, if he's getting in, um, this little goblin is getting overrun. He's got all the drinks and everybody's getting kind of crazy and we're about to get our cover blown. Then um, I think I should do something about it. And uh, like a 20 foot radius sphere, like everybody around this goblin needs to make a charisma save or they need to chill out on this goblin. Calm emotions. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to level with you. This is going to be an encounter. But it's, it's we're in it. This is going to be an encounter, but depending on how well this works, you are going to knock off a significant chunk of people from this in Okay. Uh where Ooh. 
Yeah, I mean, and if that, they're going to be it in, doesn't... indifferent about creatures of my choice, um, and that ends yeah. if they're attacked or harmed by them and that kind of stuff. Okay. Right. There are. There are ten people. There are ten people. How many? Uh, how many people can you get with this? Just everybody. Um, yeah, like forty foot diameter. Yeah. Uh, what's the so save for it? Radius from the goblin. A fifteen. Charisma. Fifteen charisma. Yeah. Okay. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Whoever saved feels, yeah. uh, or, I mean, whoever failed uh, feels slightly uh, more worried about the idea of snakes coming to get them than they are about this goblin, but only kind of mildly. And that's why they're not worried about the goblin anymore is because they're kind of worried about snakes. Uh, I turn oh, okay. to the emotions, more paranoia. I, I turn not to the... They're not frightened. That's uh, just why they're like, they're well, I've actually got snakes to worry about, so this goblin is not a big deal to me. Uh, turning to the concierge, just says, uh, Mr. Concierge? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Listen, how, this is a, an odd question, but do you have any uh, security in your premises? Yeah. Me. Oh. And, and then you see... You see, he, he like, pats his side, and you'll see, like, he does have, like, like what looks like a pistol. He looks like a pistol, like, on his on his hip. Right. So, uh, he, you are and, the only person who's doing security here. You've got a near riot on your hands, and your intention is to shoot people. You're doing a fine if job. I need, if I need, if I need to. <laughs> You got a problem with the way we do things? What well, I just do me, me and my, me and my people do things here. Well, at the the Three Heroes fan club, we'll occasionally get a little rowdy, especially with some. Oh with some my of the god! Drink. You're a fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Not just any fanboy, sir. See... I happen to be the president of the fan fiction club for the three, the three, uh, three Fs. Three, the number three, mm -hmm. H, uh, F F C, three H F F C. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm what just saying uh, you're about to have like a little riot around the devil's drink over there, and um, if that little goblin <sighs> is your client, is your is your little employee, you might wanna you might wanna, I don't know, sh don't make don't shoot anyone, don't hurt it. anyone, but. Make a persuasion check. There's gonna be a lawsuit. <laughs> Skills. Persuasion is a plus six. And that's gonna be a twenty two. You see you see that he goes uh he goes and says I told you, I have it covered. I'm all this place needs for security. I'm fine. And you see around, <laughs> What's the from over die? here in different, in different rooms, you see, like, the this ride is, like, spilling out over here. You see on this side, people are, uh, people are, like, spilling out of the line. More of this guy and like you saw like him and like the concierge and this other guy younger guy named Trick you see like other people 
in sort of the same clothing that look almost exactly like them, just in different stages of aging. Start coming out with guns. Just say, back in line, back in line. Ooh. Order, order. And they are just corralling this place. But over here, like they're doing that on the on this side of the line. But on this side, this goblin is starting to get overrun. It's like, well, this is a good... And you'll see like the concierge say like, well, this could be a good test of what you people can do. Help out. And you... A large number of people did get trapped by uh, Quixis. Uh, not Quixis. Uh, oh, I can't say your actual name. <laughs> How do you pronounce your name, Justin? Shannon. Right. Just Shannon. Shannon. Shannon Samsonite. Like I've been some time. A, of, a large group of people do get like downed by your spell. They do just like turn and immediately get back in line. Just yeah, this this is bad. This we need to. to, to, to this is bad. We just we, we shouldn't be doing this. And just turn around, turn around. There is still a lar There still is another group headed towards this goblin. Uh, does anybody do anything? Uh, roll initiative. Uh, if you do, I can roll initiative. I would like to walk <laughs> over to the roll. goblin and cast a little spell of mine. You're gonna have to roll initiative. Okay. If you do that, there's there's currently people going towards uh, him. Quick, I got a twenty-one initiative. How many people exactly? I rolled a seventeen initiative. Oh, you're gonna have to roll initiative to find out. Oh. Eighteen. Oh, uh, hold on. Uh, Rob, what'd you say you got? Seventeen. Still on him. Seventeen. Twelve. I want to help the little bugger out. Twelve. Uh, Quick sis got a twenty-one. 21. Uh, Anita, what'd you get? Uh, Vona. 18. And Shannon. Ooh, I got a three. Okay. Okay. All right. So... Uh, only seven people running towards the goblin to try oh. and they're just they see you know like you see like some of these guys are just trying to start panic and some of them are just fucking uh, ready to try and steal some free booze I know how that uh, goes actually, actually now would be a good time for us to, to stop for a second and I can make the uh, icons for you guys yeah, I'm gonna pause Rob, Rob, what's your... Oh, yeah, your X. Yay, I can move me. Hey. Nice. Do, 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 do. Do your last. Hey. All right. Okay. Stop. I'm so ready. You're all over here. Okay. Uh. Under the five or four. Uh, no, there's more. I just need to drop them in. Okay. Is this old wizard at the table an enemy also? I was just thinking that, like we can kick her ass too. <laughs> this wait, who? The wizard at the table. That is not actually. You do see him. That is not actually an old wizard. That's a Texas oh, that old baron. <laughs> no, no, that is an emo emo fanboy if you have ever seen oh my god rolling in my skin and these were the 
Oh, that'd be dope. Oh, God. You're a monster, one. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna kill all these okay. people so hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see them all exit the... You see them all exit the line. They are rushing towards this goblin. You've all managed to make it over to this side. Uh... Yeah. Who's first? Quixen. First. What do you do? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Level both swashers. When you get, when you meet Harmony, when Harmony comes here, you can give her a hug too. Uh, I can't use my rakish audacity fund. Let's go down here again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. All right, cool. So I'm going to run over here and I'm going to yell at these guys, hey, kindly return to the line. And I'm going to bop this guy with the side of my blade so it's not lethal damage. Okay. But it's still going to be sneak attack because I am rakishly audaci audacious. Uh, that's not a good roll. Come on, actions. There's a 12 hit. <laughs> uh, a 12 does not hit. Well, I'm going to back up because I attempted <laughs> to hit. I don't get attack of opportunities on me. Okay. And that's it. Oh, these fuck... Fucking guy tried to hit me! Fuck, fuck, fuck you! Fuck, fuck you! Get, get back here! Fuck you! I start screaming fuck you back at him. Like, every time he says it, I just say fuck you right back at him. Oh my goodness, what? language, fuck, language, everyone. <clears throat> I just keep yelling back in the line, back in the line. This is the hall of the three. Yeah. The three never swore except for that one time when they ran into... The evil demon who could only be hurt by swearing at it. That was that was that was great. That was wonderful. Oh, is that your turn? Yeah, that was my turn. Okay. I ran Next. up, tried to hit, then backed away. Next, it is this guy who is going to. He'll run up to you. And he is going to attack you with. Oh my god. I, he has a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is. The sharp side of his sword. I might have gone too far on these guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, no. 10 probably does not hit. Right? Nope. 10 does not hit. Well, I mean, you got to be assertive. This is your game. You want 10 to hit. Oh. You got to believe it's going to. Uh, <laughs> uh, my AC yeah. Is hmm. Armor. I love this tattoo. Uh, yeah, that's it. He just runs up trying to swing at you. Uh, this guy is going to... Tr uh, he's next. He's going to try and do the same. 5, 10. Uh, actually... He's going to... Yeah, he's going to run. 20. he run here and try to... Uh... Better not. Yeah, he's going to try and uh, hit you with the sword. Mm -hmm. 15 plus... Uh, 19. Is that hit? That hits. Uh, he slashes at your chest for six damage. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. That's it uh, for him. And the th third guy is actually going to stay back here. He pulls out a short bow. And he's actually going to attack 
He's been seeing you yell back, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That's right. He's going to throw a short bow over at you. Bring it on. That's it. Uh, 14? Oh, sorry, 15. Yeah, that hits. Uh, eight damage. That's it. Uh, Just eight and... damage. You ripped my robe, you dick. Yeah. Uh, next, it is Vona. All right. Oi, boys, my time to shine. I run on up and attack this guy. I get two attacks. It's been a while since I've been a barbarian. Oh, yeah, bonus action rage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then attack with my great sword. No, with a great sword. Does a 15 hit? Uh, does a 15 hit? Yep, that hits. Alright, that's 11 slashing damage. Nice. This is... You said 11? Yeah. Okay. You add your rage damage modifier and strength modifier? Oh, uh... That'd be plus 2, I think. Plus 2 from rage, plus 2 from strength. Ow. This is complicated. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Plus Where's four. Four more day? damage. Four more? Yeah. Okay. Can, can I attack again or no? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're All barbarian. Right. Slash him. Hit him. What are you attacking Slash him. With? My great sword. Okay, okay. All right. That is 22 to hit. 22? And that's nine damage. Yep. Oh, you have fucked this guy right up. Oh, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's instantly regretting running up. He's just like... He was just like, Hey, fuck you, VIPs! Like, okay, okay, okay. Um, fuck, fuck you guys. You guys are mean. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Are you using real swords? Are you using a real sword? That sucks. Fuck you. And that's it. Is he scared? Oh, yeah, he's super scared. Right. Uh... Next is Dibs. Okay. Dibs. Uh, Y'all, I've been to a few of these conventions, so I, I know we're going to have to go nuclear on this. I'm going to kick it up a notch, and I'm going to cast a little spell I've been preparing just for this kind of occasion called Stinking Cloud. <clears throat> I cast Stinking Cloud, and it is in this big old bubble right here. Everyone in it needs to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, DC 14. Uh, con saving throw? Oh, thank God I saved. Yes. Ugh, failed. Ooh. <laughs> <Your barbarian. laughs> and if not, what is what happens? Uh, on a failed save, the creature spends its action that turn retching and reeling. The smell is so bad, um, you immediately throw up everyone in this area or like like start gagging because this is a convention okay yeah oh yeah they got like the swamp ass is getting to the it's day one and there's still just this <laughs> overbearing smell that is uh i i look around uh, like you this get guy used to it after a while you don't you don't really it, you'll never get used to it <laughs> this guy is retching. Right. What's the DC? 14. Ooh. Nope. This guy is retching. That guy say this one saves. Uh This one Oh, he saves. This one fails. And this is the next two. Seven. And okay. Uh this one and which one? Let's make this one A, this one B. Okay. Okay. Bonus. Uh, this one. This one is down as well. Okay. This guy. Uh, 
bonus action, I am going to give uh, a little bit of encouragement with a bardic inspiration to my best buddy standing next to me here. Hey, hey, Shannon. How do you do that? Shannon. You know, I've always believed in you, and I know we're going to be best friends it's... after all this. I just want you Forever. to know that I'm rooting for you, buddy. Best friends. And I give her two thumbs up. Yes. Yes. You've got a special place in my books, in my fan fictions. I too special, I hope. I'll never let you read it. <laughs> Okay, so she has Bardic Inspiration. Awesome. You you see as... I mean, uh, these two are retching. Well, no, this one is retching. But this one, as you say that about your fan fiction, this guy from the back goes, I, I, I want to read. I want to read it. <laughs> oh, fan, oh, oh, fan fic? Oh, yes. Andre. Uh, Andre, you are next. I just need one minute with him, and I'll is that cloud? It it's is per, that it's cloud just doing it? Yeah, it's concentration. It's just gonna keep okay. going on forever. He's concentrating. He's on this That's fun. I feel like he's just like. It's like cloud obscure my vision. I'm like, I'm like, uh, come grunting on. it out. <laughs> does, does the cloud obscure my vision about who's in there? It's just kind of a, a greenish fog that like hangs on stuff, but it's not like vision. It doesn't mean you can't see through it. But you is can it lightly obscured? Or heavily obscured? Let me check that real quick. I don't think it obscures at all according to the rules. But no, yeah, it just stinks. It's just a yellow, nauseating gas. Hell yeah. All oh, those shit. people in the line too, they just like fall oh, out. No, it does say, and the its area is heavily obscured. Heavily obscured. Ooh. Okay. So say like For disadvantage. That... Yeah, it's blinded okay. effectively. Mm. Oh, this is a bad one. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> right. I love this character. For I'm going in. I wish to grapple the goblin and drag him out of him. Oh. Oh, you see, as you're doing that, he just goes, oh, thank, oh, thank you, sir. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, this thing's very bad. <clears throat> yeah, he's throwing up as well. He did not make uh, his does, save. Does he need to make a save against me grappling him, or is he willing? Oh, no, he goes limp. Okay, and then I'll have yeah. to movement, moving him along with me to place him right here. So, okay. get him out of the cloud. Perfect. Perfect. That'll be my you turn. say. Excellent. Excellent. Now okay. Now the cloud and collect their souls. Is that, it was that your turn? Um, yeah, the, I'm putting some action on my side. I can use Okay, next it is one of these guys who is retching. He can't do anything, right? Does he save from that? No. Can he can he run away from the cloud? No. Yeah. He is on his turn. You spend your action uh, and reeling. You are unable, I need to, make a save? unable to uh act uh, yeah. this next you ran turn, into you will, it. uh All right. the thing is second. they make the save at the beginning and if coughing they I rolled a so 24 you can off my con save. Let's say you held your breath as you ran in, grabbed yeah. him, and it's grabbed the goblin, and ran out. It's creature that is completely within the yep. cloud at okay. the start uh, of his turn. One of these guys is retching. Can he Can he do anything if he's... No. Or is he just... They're essentially paralyzed, it's, and it's at the start of gotcha. your turn if you're within the cloud. So you can run into it and run out of it. Fine. Okay. At the then start he's, of your turn... You make a save against yeah. poison and a fail. Uh, you spend your action retching and reeling. Then he's just fucked. I'm just gonna say he's fucked. Uh, second one. He's starting his turn. He makes a save. Yep. Yes. That is. So actually, the... we probably shouldn't have rolled everybody when I casted it. 
up on their turn. Oh, okay. But, well, you know. Wh- it's basically whether or not they can not dry heave for their turn. Live and learn. Uh, 12 to save. 12 con save. Does not. DC 14. He is out. And coughing. <laughs> I really wanted to read that fanfic. Oh yeah, you hear him just. I, I kind of want to read. I kind of want to read that. I, I I have my own with. <laughs> 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 All right, Shannon, you're up. Okay, from the outside of this cloud, I am loving it. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Um. <clears throat> you see that there are two of your friends inside there. If you run in and grab them, if you want to grab them and pull them out before their turns, I'll say if you like just grab either anyone wants to grab them from like uh like a uh five feet back yeah. before their turn, they won't have to make the con save. And it would be uh taking somebody away from like forcibly moving someone so they wouldn't take opportunity attacks i feel bad for the people in line who are just like oh yeah there is vomiting going on in the middle line from these completely innocent civilians you see some of the guys you're fighting like most if not all of them have like these pins on that look like it's like a gray it's a gray wolf and they're like they were like screaming about Ben. They were the main ones screaming about Ben. Wa- ben Wire was right. Ben Wire didn't want like these people to be in charge. Fuck these guys. And like the people in line weren't. They were asked. They were angry. But yeah, they're now vomiting in the in the middle of the floor. Uh, who's next? Uh, Shannon. Me. See you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see this as a prime opportunity to um, just get 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 crazy with it. Sure. So, you know, like kind of at the back of this cloud, you know, where I know it's going to get everybody, you know, at the end, I just, you know, kind of toss it over there. I'm going to, uh, oh, wait, this is the other one. I'm going to open a gateway to the dark between the stars, a region infested with unknown horrors <laughs> for a 20 foot, uh, radius sphere. Uh, it's a sphere of blackness and bitter cold. Um, and this will get everybody, if, if I have my way, it's going to get everybody that we're fighting. And some of these innocent bystanders, and and not our two heroes who are in there with, them. uh, and uh, this void is filled with a cacophony of soft whispers and slurping noises. It can be heard up thirty feet away. No light, super dark, you know, blinded. Uh, and it'd then, be rude yeah. not to. It'd be rude not to do this. It right. What a horrible, right, uh, horrible experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. They're yeah. so scared. They're so scared. I love it. I love it. I can. I have something I can give. You know, I can show to Dendar. Um, so it's difficult terrain, and sure. they're blinded in there, and they take damage at the start of their turn. I think me and you went to a very different dragon con. Say, <laughs> <laughs> say that one more time, Justin. What is the effect of this? Everybody uh, inside of this does what? Twenty foot sphere. Uh, yeah, they take. Uh, 2d6 cold damage on the start of their turn and dex save or 2d6 acid on the end of their turn. Are you just saying this is everyone inside of the purple circle that already exists? Uh, yeah, except our PCs. Okay, cool. Your PCs. Cool, cool. Do this. cool, cool. Yeah, just kind of wailing right. on them, kind of just sucking all their good, good fear out of their heads. Uh, the people in the line, I'm not even going to roll for them. You just see like them throwing up and then look up to their side. Just, this isn't what... This isn't what I wanted. My first convention. But, oh, oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, God. It yeah, just, just be pulled towards this. What is it? It's, a, it's just like a gate of... Just like a Gateway pit. to the dark between yeah. the stars. Just a horrible mess of tentacle Yeah. It's, a rip- kind of, it's also snake themed. Let's not forget the snake theme. There's also, you know, lots of tentacles and stuff and tails and, and snake. It's like... <laughs> and stuff it's like... like I'm going to tell you what happened pit slowly opens up like there's floorboards like start cracking and as they crack it opens up into the pit from anaconda where all the snakes are fucking (laughs) or anaconda 2 or whatever yeah that that anaconda movie where like all the snakes were like yeah it was two where all the snakes were just fucking in a pile yeah just 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that. Just a snake pit. Just starts opening up as this rift opens up a hole in the middle of the hotel. Okay. Nine cold damage. On the start of their turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turn okay. to the concierge uh, guy. Is that go, yours? Hey, make sure that they get some like gift bags or goodie bags or I don't know some something to just cheer them up the con- after their. The concierge is filling out like a, the main one. He's filling out a uh, NDA. Like a <laughs> no, no. He's filling out paperwork. He's filling out paperwork and just looking over. Liability paperwork. Yeah, sucks to be them. Just goes back to his paperwork. Okay, mm-hmm. keep on. It was like they signed. They signed a waiver when they first got here. They knew it was up. All right. Yep, that's it for me. Uh, that's it for you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is... This... Accumulate... Uh, it's this guy's turn. He is not... Poison. He's not throw. He's not vi- vi- uh, He's not retching. How about two d six cold damage? Yep. Uh, nine wait, does he need to? Does he need a save from this or anything? No, there's no happens. save for the cold damage. But on the just end happens. of his turn, on the yeah, he takes nine right now, and then at the end of his turn, nine. deck save, and then another two d six. And is he blinded? Oh yeah, he's double blinded. I think. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Actually, hey, hey, no, that doesn't happen. That okay. actually does not happen to him. All right. What happens is he fully just freaks out, just, no, what? Ah, ah, oh, God! And dies. And as, like, a <laughs> snake wraps around and pulls him into, like, one of the many opening gates that are opening up inside, uh, underneath the floorboards. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Frozen yeah. Frozen in fear. Yeah, yeah. That's As he's about. pulling pulled down, he just freezes just, nah! and is pulled down uh by a snake. Yeah, he's he's dead. Uh the next guy, uh he is retching, so I'm gonna say the same thing happens to him. Awesome. He can't really save. And yeah. Exact same Eat thing happens to him. Eight. Eight. You know what? We're yes. This is all but solved. The goblin is out. Actually, Maybe more problems have been caused. But... Uh, actually, <laughs> there is only one. There's only two things that I need settled. Uh, Quixis, it's actually your turn. Can you uh, make a save for that uh, poisonous gas that's going on right now? Uh, yeah, I got a 17. 17. 17 you save you save there are more pits being opened and up if you don't think it's a good idea to stay in here i'm going to grab vana and say okay. we should probably back up and Vonna, go. weak weak strength i'm going to attempt to pull the strong barbarian gnome out of this smoke cloud as you're I, leaving i allow it to happen <laughs> as you're leaving these two uh Vonner, go ahead and make me a constitution saving throw. As you're leaving okay. this. Uh, yeah. That's an eight. Yeah, you're vomiting as you're coming out of this, just retching. Oh, God, it's so bad. And uh, as, you're, as you're walking away, more, more of these, like, holes are opening up in like the ground and sucking people down into this giant snake pit and these two as you're leaving are just going leave me don't don't leave me don't don't leave me remember my name remember my name remember my name I I yell at him I did tell you to get back in line (laughs) oh damn (laughs) he just looks back no ticket (laughs) <laughs> Get it anyway. Uh, so that's all still happening. That's all still happening in this area. Chaos ensues. You all are. It it looks terrifying. And the concierge watch uh, walks up to you all and just goes, "This, what's that? Not bad. 
Not bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you guys got it. All right. Um. Yeah, I think you guys can help out Brad. That was it. This is on you. Yeah. What you want? What you think? You think? Uh. Or one on one. Huh? Never mind. He wants to wrestle shirts. Oh, I know I'm exactly. More curious about this. Alex. To... Yeah. Alex, I know exactly what you and it's and you got it. It's it's gonna happen. <laughs> I know yeah, exactly. No. I I know Alex. I know what you're horny for, and I I <laughs> I know what your specific kink is, and I and I've built some or, built up something for it. It's okay. Or, some for, for the you. record, um. Mm -hmm. My character describing me before going describing version. You're breaking. You're breaking up. You're Al, 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 You're breaking up a lot. You're breaking okay. up a lot. But I'm going to assume that you're talking about how thirsty your character is for to wrestle another man. And I, I got you. I got you, bro. I got you. Now, now, uh, the concierge looks over at the goblin and says, "All right, Brad." Uh, this is on this is on you, man. All right, take uh, take care of them. They, I'm charging them to take care of my problem. All right, they're they take care and they're gonna take care of my problem. Yeah, Brad, right? Got it. Uh, problem. and Brad, the little goblin that you saved, uh, says just like it just moves you all like. Is like ushering all of you. It's like, yeah, all right, follow me. I, I'll, I'll help out. I'll tell you what you need to do. Thanks, and he just brings, he just brings you over here. Oh, all right, all right. So, like, the, all right. The concierge. I guess he. I guess you all are some, uh, some some VIPs who uh, are brought to the hotel who need uh, to help us out with the problem. Uh, Brad, 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 what? Uh, ben, 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 Ben Wire, Ben Wire is is the problem. Could you help us out, please? Yes, yes, absolutely. Wired. Yes, you all will be paid for this. Uh, I'm assuming if you're VIPs, there's the standard, the, there's the standard platinum fee for for you all. Platinum fee. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, Ben, he's a, he's a, he, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a really nasty man. He's a, he's a nasty. He's been threatening to sneak into this place every year, but this year he's finally gotten some people on his side. He's, he's been just. Frankly, a loser, a loser he has been, but he, he's finally found some people who are equally as sweaty and as awkward as he is, and have, can and snuck him in. He's said that he's snuck himself in, so his his acolytes, his crew, the the uh, what are they called? The fuck are these guys called? Gray the Gray Dorf. Patriots. Gray Patriots. The Gray Patriots. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's them. The them's the ones. They they need. They they need to be they need to be stopped. So uh, I think if you could find Ben and unalive him for us, that'd be perfect. You guys seem like you're good at uh, the killing. Well, it sure. sounds like he's a very naughty boy. Excellent, excellent. Could you? Uh, all right. If you... you don't mean nasty like our friend Dips, right? Do you mean like more of like an evil kind of murderous? Wait. No, no, I'm I, not sure. no. I don't. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Me nasty? I'm not nasty. No, I don't kink shame on a on a fan fiction right. writer. Well, that's not, that's a normal. Well, that's your, that's normal nasty. for this place. That's, it's called I'm art. Nasty I'll have you know, I am a. a I'm trying to see what this guy might be bringing. Listen, if you have a group of great patriots, if you know. want to say that a greased up hammer is not art, then we have Look. clearly differing visions of what Look. genuine artistry is. Look, I want to know I'll... why the hammer is greased up. Because <laughs> how else are you gonna see those bulging big old muscles? Oh, that oh well, hammer. never mind. I'm just thinking a physical hammer. I don't know, what are you gonna do with a greased up hammer? I'm kind of worried. Okay. No. Okay. No. 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 The hammer. Okay. Is worse well, than the three heroes. That's all. He's the, got the biggest chest of the three, and I think that you know 
That should be commended. That should be written. I don't. I don't remember any of the three having to grease themselves, but uh, you're the you're the one who knows more than I do. I'm the writer. Where, where is that spell grease? I guess that would be a use. I guess. Anyway, um, and in all large. you need to do, <laughs> all, all you need to do is uh, head up, uh, head up a few floors. Head head up to the uh, to the fourth floor. There's uh, up to the up, up to the jail. The Grim Shackle Jail. There's a. We don't really know where he is, but there, where Ben Wire is. But Raytheen, there's, there's one of his acolytes, one of his top commanders. She, she defected from the group. Raytheen, if you find her, it, she, she's up in the jail. She's up in the jail. Uh, if you could, <laughs> if you just go up to the jail, find her, talk to her. She'll tell you where Ben is. Okay. Yeah, there's the warden of the jail, Econ. Econ. He's uh, Mr. Mr. Jones, Mr. Econ Jones. He he'll he's a friend of the of the plaza. He'll he'll let you he'll let you in and he'll he'll he'll, he'll let you know where she is in the jail. She she should be they, she should be taken care of in the jail. I think she's just there for protection. Two questions. Where are you from? Huh? That's another good question. Three questions. What's that? What's that? Three questions. Where are you from? Oh, Why well, does the hotel have a jail? And where can I get one of those drinks that you were passing out? Uh, uh, we well, two of those questions can be solved really easily. We, uh, uh, us goblins, we, we're the bellhops here. We're bred here to to be the drink boys. We we we're the drink boys for for the, the for the people in charge. The people in charge of this place love well love their booze. Uh, so we just we just pedal around the alcohol, keep people inebriated. Would you like a shot? And he pulls out like a he pull he starts pouring like a little drink. Oh, he's pouring. Oh, he's got to pour the drinks. Oh, he's got to pour the masters love their drinks. We start, yeah, he just starts pouring all of you shots. Did you say you just, were bred for this? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You said you were bred and, for this task. Yeah, and I gotta keep on doing it. Oh, it's boy, fun. they love their drinks. And he ru- and he just wheels his cart over. It's just like start passing drinks to people as he as he uh, runs by. I'll meet you up at the jail. I'll meet you up at the jail. Oh, oh. I think that goblin was a slave. Boy, I see um, no problem oh. with this. Oh, absolutely a slave. Um, uh, you pointed out towards uh, this way. I didn't have time to animate uh, or like draw it out. But this room right here, there's a mass of people waiting in this area for a um, for what looks like a door. Like slow every now and then, it opens up. People rush in, and doors close. As many people as they can rush in, doors close, and it goes. It looks like an elevator. Yeah, it looks like an elevator. Uh, This, uh, roll, uh, everybody roll perception checks. Mm. Mm. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight? The natural twenty. Natural twenty, yeah, plus eight. So, but you rolled a natural twenty. Nineteen. Yep. With a natural twenty, yeah, twenty-one. Well, with the natural twenty, you go into a twenty-eight. I'll say, like this room you see are stairs. This you see is a room for the elevator. That everybody's crowding around. But over here. Ignore like the bed and stuff in here. It's not actually a bed, because over here you see a woman with a drink cart. Oh, sorry, not with drink cart. She looks like a uh, a clean. She looks like a cleaning woman. She looks like a like an elf, older an older elf. Looks like a cleaning woman. Goes into this room that seems to be like very close to the elevator. And you see another, I think, half-orc woman, large, walks in with her. 
they look to be employees. They it looks like they're waiting for they're like opening up a door, like making sure nobody's looking. Then they open up a door when they think nobody's looking, and past the door you see there is another elevator inside there. The great elevator. I'm going to point everybody out to that room. I think there's a staff elevator. We might be able to take a little bit more quickly than this giant one. An elevator inside an elevator? No, well, it's, it's like an elevator inside a room. There's an another elevator inside a side room over here that it looks like two staff members are. Well, oh. one of them looks like a staff member. Another one just looks like a half half orc. But it does seem like a staff elevator. Are we... St wait. We're staff now. Right? I think, yeah, we... Yeah, we're I security. Think, we're security. We work here. Right. Security. Via the concierge. Uh, let's... Should we take that? Yeah. Yeah, let's just take it. Let's go in there like we own it and take it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm right there beside you, Shannon. Rip your chest out. Come on. Sh well... well Okay, all right. I'm going to puff my chest out like a big boy, and I'm going to walk right up there. I didn't say that last part. <laughs> uh, there, The door looks locked, but there is another cleaning woman that's walking towards the door. Oh. Uh, what do you say to her? Uh, excuse me, miss. Yes? Uh, we, are, we are trying to get down into, uh, or up, or we're we're trying to get into this elevator here. We work here, and um, I'm gonna cast a little spell on myself while I'm talking, just so that we're uh, real quick. It's called uh, fast friends. So uh, the creature must succeed on a wisdom saving throw, a DC fourteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or become charmed for one hour. Mm -hmm. Keep on, keep. I, I already rolled for it. Keep on talking. Okay. What do you uh, say to her? Um, I go, ma'am, if you'd be so kind, just let us let us go ahead and take whatever key or whatever lets you inside of this here elevator, and we'll be right on our way. She, there's like spectral energy coming from like little puffs of like spectral dust are coming like out from your mouth and your hands and goes around her as she's talk as you're talking. And she just goes, oh, fuck, come on, dude. I, I got it. Yeah. Adventurer, you see a secret door. It's fine. I don't, yeah, just don't fucking tell anybody. And Fast she, friends! And I give her a high five. She does not high five you. I go. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Ever been at, ever been at Dragon Con? They don't stop you. They just, uh, just annoyed. <laughs> I, yeah, you just you just use you've been to the Dragon Con at the Marriott. They'll just let you use the service service elevators. You just ask. It's fine. Y'all, they're so friendly here. <laughs> I feel, I feel like fan this, boys. Is, this is truly Especially the place where I belong. That's that's my innermost feeling right now. And I hope that yeah. you all feel the same way because you're welcome yeah. in my fan fiction worlds if you ever want to take a little trip down memory lane. Yeah. So as you welcome now after the fact, it doesn't matter. So you all make it inside the inside the room. You're waiting for the elevator. The elevator does come. You actually get on the elevator with the, the two maids, and it's like a big service elevator. It's bigger than the other one that you saw. So two maids and the large half orc woman. So detect their thoughts. Okay. The maids. Okay. Surface surface thoughts. Uh. I ha she would be thinking I have business in the jail but I really want to go he's like but I really want to go to there's another bar somewhere in the j somewhere like no down below yeah this one is down below I really need to go to the jail I really need to go to Jim Crimcheck jail to take care of someone but I really want to finish that fast because I really want to get drunk at the bar downstairs. At, uh, and that one is called... You get the name of it. it is, the bar? Yeah, the bar downstairs. Oh. The Lucky... 
Siphon. Cool. Lucky Siphon. Uh, who is she going to see? You'd have to dig deeper, do you? Yes. Uh, I hear something about a jail, and we're going to a jail, and I just, like, whip my head over to her and lock eyes with her and just, like, peer straight into her soul. She has to make a save. Which I believe is with. Uh, she fails. Hell yeah. She 100% fails. What's she thinking about? She is thinking that bitch Portia. <laughs> that bitch, that there's a bitch named Portia who is trying to take my job. She is annoying. And there's a woman who's trying to take my job. She is no one important because no one's going to be on her side. It's just she's annoyed that she has to go even talk to this woman and tell her that she's not a threat, but she's being annoyed. Uh, and that's... Uh, you get a... You get a clear image of Portia. Hmm. And that is... So she's got to go up there and tell Portia off? Yes. Okay. Because Portia has apparently been like trying to get other people on her side to like try and take this half orc woman's job and Portia and but no one's and this half orc woman is like I hate that I have to talk to this one uh, tell even tell her to fuck off that's Portia awesome and uh Vera is the name that you get of this half orc? That is Vera, the woman on okay. the elevator. Whoa! Hey, yes. Vera. Okay. Yeah. So the cool. yeah. I feel like I uh, should sure be Vera. into her because of the muscles, but something something's off. I'm, I don't know what it is. But yeah, uh, elevator comes. All of you get on, right? Well, now that I know these two business, these two people's business. Uh, I am going to, and it sounds like she's got to intimidate Portia. I'm going to, uh, I can, uh, t I can speak telepathically with people. And I just, bonus action. She knew. Telepathically. She... Well, yeah, she knew what I was doing, but I wasn't talking to her. And now she's probably alarmed, but I'm going to try to just talk to her in her mind and uh, say, don't worry about, don't worry about Portia. I'll make sure she's taken care of. <sighs> Wait. She. <laughs> As you all are about to get on the elevator, she grips your face with, like, not, like, what should be, like, a threatening, like, you, but just, like, with two fingers and brings you in close and just, I'll deal with her oh, myself. Oh, I start Don't fanning worry. really hard. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. waving my hand in my face. Oh, oh, my. Oh, wow. And she just, she just pulls you in close, like, I'll deal with her myself. But I appreciate it. And she walks into the elevator. Mm. Hey, <laughs> Woo! Did it get hot in here? And that's it. This, this is a hot elevator. <laughs> uh, and uh, do all of you get on the elevator? I thought this was on the elevator. No, this is as you're entering. You're on the elevator now. It's going Well, this up. is going to be an awkward ride, but yeah. They, uh, so of one of the cleaning... get on the elevator. One of the cleaning ladies pushes a, um, uh, like, taps a glyph. There are several glyphs on the side of the elevator. One of the cleaning ladies pushes one for, like, 7,000. One, uh, another cleaning lady pushes one for, for, uh, negative five. And, uh, you all push, and, uh, sorry, uh, Vera pushes one for four. It's just like a glyph. You just run your finger across it, across it, and it glows. And it's like, all right, we're first. We're first. Let's go into the fourth floor. Well, she says I'm first. She doesn't know you guys are going to the fourth floor. But yeah, elevator starts going. As it's going, there's like blue lights that uh, emanate from the room. As it's going, I did not know that there were... I did not know take this long to get here. It's definitely going to be another session to deal with this. But as you're going up the elevator, it stops. There's blue lights around the elevator. But now it's stopped. 
and there's now red lights. Out of like, it, Vera looks like okay, it jammed. There's not a lot of people that have been on here. This seems this seems odd. And out of what seems like not a vent, but like a stone, like some stone shifts to the side, and out of the this weird like opening onto the elevator platform and the elevator is just like a big circular it just seems like a big circular room that's shifting in other directions uh out of it pops several people they seem like people oh. and these people say like uh, one of them just goes as tribute to Ben Wire. As tribute to Ben Wire. We're going to need your food, your money, or all the gems that you own. And as they're talking, you start to realize you've seen like Tabaxi before, and you've seen like uh, Leonid, like Lion. Mm -hmm. These don't look like that. There's one that looks sort of like you, Shannon. But not quite. It's not like they are Tabaxi or they are Leonin. They look like humans who are trying to... Like Animorphs, like halfway during transformation. People that have been trying to turn themselves into those specific races. There's one really? person no. that is slowly no. turning themselves into a snake person. There's one person that is slowly turning oh. themselves into a tabaxi. There's one person, like a lion type person, that is slowly like there is the tails there, half the mane. It looks scruffy. Oh. It's I, I whisper it's to weird. the group I turn, I go, Hey, y'all, these are furries. We do not interact with furries. No, oh, no, I like. I think I like. I like what these guys have got going on. I think. I think that. I know that. Look at this. Yeah. The scales. Now, yes, this is. This person is onto something. The one with the. The one with the scales just goes. Yes, yes, we are cool, and yes, we are the covenant of the furries. <laughs> You're not. I go. I do. That kind of fan fiction is forbidden. No one. Um. It's it's just that's just for monsters. Hey, you don't cast dispersions. Lots of good qualities. Uh, roll it, Shannon. Roll a history check. Uh, thirteen. 13 you know you have met being what you are you've had fans before you've dated people you've dated individuals that realize oh i thought they were really just in to me for me but turns out they have a very specific fetish for mm -hmm. animal type people uh yeah you've heard of furries before but they're usually harmless they like to give a lot of hugs but they're not, uh, you've never met any that have been like malicious or evil. These guys seem, but you've never seen any like rob people. Okay. Well, I'm still just kind of focused on the snake like one. And, but I, I kind of just, this, if, if, if the, I don't think she's, I don't think she's on the same team that I am on. And I, this is becoming clear to me now. And I'm just like, uh, so I, I, I get real uh, close up in her face and I like, grab her collar like, Are you an uh, agent of the Night Serpent? Uh, I'll be an agent of whatever you want. Yes. Uh, I let go. Ew, I let go. Yeah, she's just I like know. grabbing. Oh, yeah. He's into, he's into it. Yeah, this guy's so into it. I, uh, scare you at all? I'd like to uh, crack my metal uh, fist. And proceed to deck the snake one across the face, saying, "Here's my tribute, Mac." Make a make an attack. I'm okay with it. All right. See, I don't currently have my shield equipped. 
Fourteen. Fourteen? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, which one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the snake one is terrified. Oh, actually, you're not... You shouldn't be trying to intimidate the snake one. That's not your problem. That 14... That 14... The snake one is very... Oh, wow. One as well. Okay. The snake one goes down. The snake one gets punched in the jaw. The snake one falls to the... Huh? Yes, hello. Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. He just... Yeah, he takes the punch and it's just like... Oh, God. I'm so Sorry, I just, I, it's just so hot. I just never seen specific. Every, everyone's always going about the tabaxi. I've never seen a uh, snake woman of her. Uh, I just, I just really want to get to know her. Do you have any bags that you, can? Can we take a self? Can we take a few selfies together? And may I, uh, I burn those actions with them in a chokehold, please? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let me do my athletic There's... check versus their strength. Your costume, little girl. There's about four of them coming out of the thing, right? I rolled a non at twenty to put the snake lady or snake person in a chokehold. Hey, you. Uh, well, let's roll. Oh yeah, actually, that's pretty high. Uh, what's twenty plus what? Uh, just twenty with the addition. It's oh, just twenty. Athletic check versus their athletics or acrobatics. No, but what's your what's your what's the full thing? Twenty. Oh, I have plus nine. I rolled an eleven, so twenty. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, nineteen. Uh, yeah, you get him in a chokehold, and as you're like trying to just like, fuck you, stop, uh, stop being weird, stop it, you weird little fucking creep. Two. Uh, yes. uh, there's like four of them in there right now. Behind them. Two. Giant men walk out behind, like, the four that are already in there. The... These two have been trying to turn themselves into minotaurs. They're huge, and they're just like... But one of them did roll a... One of them did roll a one on the... Saving us that intimidation check you got, and they're just like... Or, oh... All right, just calm down. We'll, we'll, we're trying to get trippy. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. We can just we let's. Uh, we'll find another way to get some tribute for a bit. Let's let these people pass. And the other one is like, fuck these guys. Fuck you. Fuck. You. Fuck you. Uh, fuck you. Fuck you, all right? I don't need this bullshit. Oh, uh, uh, you see, like, the vent behind them where they're at? It just keeps snaking going. It does sort of look like a ventilation shaft. This is crazy. Hmm? Well, if it uh, looks like they're all kind of blinking away, I guess I'll just ungrapple and, like, push and, like, go about our business. Uh... The snake one tries to stay. <laughs> no, the the oh. snake one, like the other ones, like Lee, are gone, but the snake one tries to stay. Spit in her face, poison. Oh, I was going to say more the merrier, but. Well, yeah, she's, she's a furry. Her. She's a poser. This might be something oh. he enjoys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope not. Uh, <laughs> oh, this it's, is it's a, actually just a concert. He's making a. Oh no! I was making a wisdom saving to see if this is oh. part of their kink. Uh, oh my god! I uh, definitely failed the saving throw. How much damage did he take? Uh, D twelve. Did I roll a damage for both my punch and my grapple? Wait, I, I... Three poison. Oh, uh, for the for the for the punch, yeah. Three right. poison. Bye. Yep. Okay. Get back. Uh, I did nine no damage on that. Damage with my fist. That's. I'm gonna say that's enough. That's enough that they're just like. 
Oh, all right, all right. I'm just. I'll, I'll. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. You are human meat. Yes. Yes, I. I'm. A, I, I. I mean. I mean, just a thousand gold if you want to step on me a little. No, no, let's, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. And he just like goes towards the vent. Right as he's about to go, he pulls out what looks to be like a sending stone. You've seen like a like a sending stone is the enchanted like gem thing that lets you communicate with other people if you have like the right uh, frequency to talk to another person's specific sending stone. He takes that out. It seems like it's been enchanted, and he. Full on take pulls out what looks to be like a capturing device and takes a uh, selfie of oh him with you as he slinks away towards the shadows. I hate that. I hate that person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, he has some sympathetic hats on the shoulders going, I'm so sorry. I thought that was going to be an encounter. I thought that was going to take forever. That's. Okay, yeah. I expected I... it to be. As well, I was about to take the um, Yanti wannabe and proceed to. Beat the Minotaurs with the Yanti as an improvised weapon. I would have to uh, see that. Yo, hey, uh, <laughs> keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. As they leave, you enter your uh, your um your elevator gets to its destination. It gets to the fourth floor. It keeps the elevator goes up. It starts going up the second they leave, and the lights turn back on, and it gets to the fourth floor. Vera, who was just watching all of this, like, so I, the the maids on the on the elevator were terrified, but Vera was just looking on, smiling. Just you guys handled that well. Once like gets to the fourth floor, as the doors are opening, just like you need some. I'll, I'll be seeing you guys later. I'll be seeing you guys later. Come up to the, uh, uh, find the, find the brothel on the, uh, find the, find me at the brothel. I'll, uh, I'll set you guys up with somebody. That was, that was nice. I like you guys. And she keeps on going and she walks out of the doors. As the doors have opened and you got to the fourth floor, you start to hear music just like this intense, just like, rhythm start to it's like oh shit this is this sounds this sounds pretty great and then as you're like walking out of the elevator you see like this arch in front of this opening that just says the Grimshackle Jail and you walk under the arch you see thank you Ellie. It's an opening, a, a big, huge open room. There's a platform in the distance. See you, baby girl. I'll be right back. There are a sea of people just partying, fucking raging. And there is a bar on one side in one corner. And it also has, above the bar, Grimshackle Jail. And there is a blue there's a blue uh ganasi air ganasi serving drinks yeah welcome to the grand shackle jail I it's got a bar in it to be more jail like and less rave like right right this is a strange place and most of the people are creeps i think uh, you guys like entered. Said, right. Bye. Did you guys enter? You guys Jackie entered Nuggets. down here. All right. Uh, I thought it was white. It's the white background. I was like, okay, all right. Uh, do you guys see where you're at? It's still like loading the thing for me. I see the map. Hey. Yeah, okay. I no, I just saw us drop in. Yeah, you're down there. Bottom left. Uh, so yeah, this is the jail. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the jail slash bar. What uh, is roll... it called? A jail? 
Hmm? Why is it called the jail? It's the name of the bar. Anyway, uh, yeah, you asked that out loud, just like, why is it called the jail? And just a bunch of people just walked by us like, it's the name of the bar, idiot. What's wrong with you? And you remember you were supposed to, there was a, uh, all you know, there, there is a contact here called Econ Jones. They are the war, they, you said they, uh, you were told they were the warden of the jail. Okay. So the owner of the bar. Well, what do you do? Get over here. Uh... We meet Scorpion. What's his name? <laughs> Econ? Uh, you were looking for Econ Jones. Okay. Alright. Yes, we need Go to, to do bar. some Econ Recon. Oh, no. Does every does everybody does everybody go up to... Uh, start rolling perception checks. Everybody, as you're walking as you're walking up to the bar. Is this up here at the bar? <laughs> 17. Yeah. 17? Yes. 19. 13. Kelly, can you do something else for a Great job. Uh, wait, Brian, what'd you get? 19. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 7. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna settle a few things first. You guys, you make it to. Uh, is it really cold? Who, who all was going up to the bar? I was. Which game were we? You were. Yep. Okay. You do make it to the. You do make it to the bar. Do you make it to the bar? Um. At the bar, you see. Uh, you see the Air Ganassi pouring drinks. Oh, sorry, what, Anita and Brian, what did you get? 17. Okay. From reception, 19. Okay. And uh, Rob? Uh, perception of 11. 11. Got it. Okay, perfect. Uh, here's some, the stuff that happened. Shannon... You go up to the bar. You see this Ganassi pouring drinks. It's like, "Hello, hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? What you need? What you need?" And as he like walks towards you, more drinks keep pouring without him like touching. Without him like touching them at the other side of the bar where he just left to walk over and talk to you. Like, what? Do you, what you need? What, what? What you need? What you need? Uh, well, hold on. I see that you got. You don't. You don't have. Uh, you don't have a badge, but you have. You don't have a badge, but you've made it here, so right. that means you're VIP. I very yes. love that, darling. I love, yes. I love that. Let's set you up with a drink. Clearly, the bar, the pa the plaza. Yeah, I mean, they've got the same deal. They need something from you. What is it that I can help you with? <laughs> do you? What? Well, I mean, since do you have any, do you have any blood? Some blood, darling. Does that what you drink? Some, sometimes, yeah, just a little bit of blood. We don't, don't judge think. here. We don't judge mm -hmm. here. I don't. I. I don't like it. I've tried it. I've tried it. It's not my thing. I'm not an. Uh, it's not. It's not my thing. But I'll get you some blood. Is that? Is, sure, is it sure, just? Yeah, is it? Is it just blood? Would you just like blood? Is it? Would you like some other stuff in it? I, because I can make a I mean would. cocktail with some with some A positive, darling. It's it's delicious. Well, I well, virgin blood would be preferable. And uh, I well, I just I'll say I'll say the words. Don't worry about it. Just a cup of virgin blood. And have you seen anyone? Named Econ. That's the proprietor of the jail. That's the one in charge of this bar. And you're right. looking at him, right. darling. That's me. You are Econ. That's... Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and my you goodness. Were... You were supposed to be look. I'll remind you, you were supposed to be looking for a woman named Raytheine. Oh. Econ oh, was... Yeah, Raytheine is the defector from the Grey Patriots. Econ, can I have a cranberry's? A cran a cranberry. How old is Dib? Dibs is probably nearing thirty. Nearing thirty. Okay. And what uh in 
like a satyr. Okay. Yeah, but that's of age, right? For satyrs. Sure. Yeah, I think they start drinking alcohol at the age of like six. Six. Right. 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 I mean, right, they're right. all about the revelry, so. Yeah. Right, but, absolutely. But not this little satyr boy. He's a. Uh, he is strictly Absol- on the cranberry sauce. <laughs> That boy will look at you, just go, uh, he'll look at you and just, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, I understand, I understand, I'll get you a cranberry, you need a cranberry and blood, cranberry and blood, understood, I got you, I got you, Virgin, uh, it's a bit expensive, darling, but what, what is it, I'm, uh, you're on a quest, what, what, what's the quest, what, what, what you need, I need, well, yeah, uh, it's a long story, we're looking for this guy, and somebody knows who this guy is, I think his name is and- Raytheon? Yeah, and you know where that guy, you know where that somebody is. Raytheon, right? You mean, oh, sweet Raytheon, sweet Raytheon. Oh, the poor darling. Yeah, she's up. He points over at like the the race platform on the other side. He's like, yeah, she's getting drunk. She's getting drunk there. She'll, yeah, he gets you some drinks and. Uh, okay. It's not. It's not virgin. It's not virgin. It's not virgin blood. But it is blood. I can blood. tell as oh. soon as I put it to my lips. But I need but, to make sure that mine but is it has like, cranberry. huh? Mine needs to be it, a virgin cranberry cocktail. I was it, gonna say it is. It is. It is it's a you get a virgin. You get a cranberry juice. A cranberry juice with like shavings of mint and orange zest inside of it, it is delicious. <laughs> I stir and like it some while other I'm, like, and like some head. syrup. And some syrup and like a rim of like syrup stuff drizzled inside. It's <gasps> Look delicious. Who's getting fancy tonight. Yes, and just and uh, uh, Shannon, mm-hmm. you get you get a cocktail that is not virgin blood, but it is the blood of a warrior, a blood of a saint, the blood of a saint freshly corrupted. Okay. All right, and it takes like it tastes of innocent corruption. It's so delicious. It tastes of someone who has been corrupt. It tastes of new sin. It tastes of you get like memory as you take a shot. It tastes like you have not had like you have been a celibate for many years. You found a slut and you just went to town on that one. You feel yeah, you feel. Dirty in the best yeah. kind of way. I feel dirty okay. after. If yeah. You, if you begin yeah. to describe it to mm-hmm. uh, Dibs, he's going to plug his ears and go, "No, no, 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 no." Nope. Don't talk. No, about I just, things. I just get uh, all that from just, I just uh, and I get all that. Uh, like you want, you want to try? Uh, who me? Yeah. Oh, I don't take partake of the devil's juice. Well, this uh, is act. This is not. This is blood. Oh, that's actual devil's juice. Like, like devil, devil juice. Oh, well, it's, no. it doesn't belong to any devils. It's just blood. Damn. I think it's a, I think it's a, like a priest's blood. According As to this my is happening, promise ring here it says I will not partake of anything other than cranberry sauce. He's he's got a little <laughs> uh, promise ring that says, um, "Virgin for oh. life." Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! God, you're so sad. You're so sad. He's uh, he's proud. <laughs> it's, it's, he wears it proudly. Uh, no, uh, Vona, Vona and Quixis, as you were walking up, you see this happen, but you also see, like, in the midst of, like, people partying, there are, like, different sections of, like... There's, like, the big overblaring music coming from, like, the main stage, but there's also pockets of, like, smaller groups with smaller music playing in that area. And around one of these smaller groups, you find... Your perception checks. You found. Uh, Vona, you found someone who comes up to you with like a cart on the side, much like the little goblin before, but like selling stuff. It says like, "Oh, free, free shots, free shots for where, free shots for where, free shots for, uh, free shots for uh, industry. We, we're just giving out free samples. Come on, come on, come on, free shots. Do you take one?" He's passing Boy, out to like random course. people. Yeah. You, you get, you take Ugh. a shot. You get at 
ooh, yeah, you get advantage on if you take any attack rolls, if you take make any checks, you can choose to uh, have advantage for Dang. one minute. Dang! Wow. Bloody yeah. hell. I gotta start fighting somebody. No, I mean, not for... You get to choose when that minute starts. You have this well oh. of just, like, energy inside of you, just like, oh, this is this is awesome. This is awesome. I feel great. And you could just release that energy and just start. You have had a sip of pie. <laughs> I now, drink. yeah, uh, Brian, uh, sorry, quick says you see off on this side. You see, oh, actually, it would be over here yeah right here by the stairs you see the exact same minotaur that what would the angry one that was inside the elevator to try to intimidate you he's over in that in this area to the top right but around him you notice him because there is a crowd of people in that area and around him an impromptu over the music an impromptu not mosh pit People have formed a big circle that seems like it's going to be a mosh pit, but people are just throwing people one on one inside that pit and just fighting. It is a impromptu just wrestling den. My club? Yeah, yeah. Um, Much like if you've been to Dragon Con, those like lightsaber battles that happen in the uh, at the parties. I'll, yeah. uh, <laughs> never I'll happened to me. Sometimes. You'll yeah, see. sometimes this hap sometimes this randomly happens. Everyone just has all their weapons and shit at a club and this just happens. There are impromptu rules that people have just agreed upon, but there are no refs. It's just a big circle of people like courting making like the ring of this fighting pit and just throwing people in. One person loses, they get uh, pulled out by the crowd and just say who's next and the next person comes in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's a fight club. How high is the ceiling? Uh, uh, that's what. Uh, sorry, that is what Quixus sees. Oh my bad, I misheard. You see something completely different. You don't know that this woman is that is that is uh this Porsche woman because you didn't see that. That was um, that was Justin's character, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that was just that was Shannon who saw saw that in Vera's mind. But this, uh, let me find oh, her. Here. Oh, there she is. She, this woman, walks up to you. The crowd parts. This woman walks to you, grabs you by the face, punches you, then pulls you in and starts making out with you. I are just says on, are we still I'm ready. Like, do an analogy of Dragon Con, by the way. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. What? Hey. Absolutely, absolutely. This person, this woman, punches you in the face, kisses, starts making out with you hard, and then gets a what seems to be drugs, puts a line on her on your arm, does a rail, and just yes, I'm ready to fucking party. Let's do this. Woo! Grabs your arm and starts pulling you towards the fight, towards the fight club, and starts dancing with you the entire time. Do you resist this? <laughs> um, sort of. My character is all... really bad, but I'm like I'm very torn. On one hand, my character respects her boxy, like that earns his respect if he's being helped, and he's like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm with this. But then it's like making out and wanting to dance. He doesn't he doesn't get that. He's so confused. Uh, as you're walk, uh, if you're, you're like just uh, make intel make make a make an intelligence check. Oh, there's one really awful stat. Okay, <laughs> fortunately he's not the brightest bulb, despite going to wisdom. You can make it wisdom, wisdom or intelligent, wisdom or intelligent. Uh, that's not good either. Or an ins not... or ins I, th I think it would be insight. Yeah, it would have to be insight. Yeah, yeah, insight. Oh, insight. I actually have a skill with insight. Um, okay. I rolled a yeah. twelve, twelve plus three, fifteen. Fifteen. This woman is out of her fucking mind. 
She is partying. <laughs> she is partying like she is going to die tomorrow. And do you look around there? Maybe like everyone's partying, but no one is on. And there's like maybe one person that's coming close. But she's out of her goddamn mind. And she's just like. She hands you a blade. She hands you a knife. It just says, there's an invisible guy. All right, wizard, wizarding drinking rules. There's an invisible guy here. If you stab him, if you stab him, you get a free shot. Fuck yeah. And just like, and just like running through like drinking rules. Like if you, if you let off a spell, if you let off a spell, if you let off a spell and uh, it hits more than three, and it hits more than three people, and you hit more than three people, that's another shot. Let's go. Let's go. And she's just okay. So I know exactly what my character. Upon being handed a sharp object, he'll hit it with other sharp features he can't. And, I can't. Um, I can't hear you. Say that again. Okay. Um. I know what my character. Upon receiving a sharp object, the other sharp object, uh, weapons of items he carries in case he can't wrestle. And um, he'll then. Proceed to follow her around, but not really positively towards what she's doing because he doesn't want to dance. He's not really into that. But make sure she doesn't hurt anyone else. Make sure she doesn't. Awesome. 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 I don't know. Imagine Awesome. Um, she's leading you like over this way. All right. The fighting pit is basically happening here. She's headed towards the stairs. Um, I can see the fighting pit. Mm-hmm. I'll ask someone else real quick if they know what's upstairs. Huh? Oh, it's only like it's it's only like a. Not even one floor of stairs. It's just like a like a raised like dance hall platform thing. It's it's only like as tall as a person. Like the thing is only like as tall as a person. And like there's stairs going up to that second level. And there just seems to be more music coming from up there. I think it's just like I mean, there's dancing going on everywhere, but that is like that seems like the official dance section. Alright. I'll let her do her thing. Oh, oh, elevated boy. dance floor, then, and oh, uh, try to run my way into a fight if I can get it. Well, specifically with these rules, one on one. I don't want to. Uh, uh, is anyone using weapons or anything like that? Or is it like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's using weapons and shit. Uh, there seems to be an unwritten rule that you see, like, one guy go down, and clearly somebody could have, like, done the finishing blow on him, but they don't. Uh, because and he just yields. It's a lot of a few people look fucked up. No one's died. Uh, the Minotaur sees you, and he's like over here. He sees you, and says and like looks at you and just go. It's just like me, you. Let's do this. I strap on and my he team. like he he like pushes through the crowd. And like one hand punch it, and like the guy who just won the last bout just who's next? I fucking did it! I'm amazing! What push? And just like the minute the Minotaur just like punches him and throws him over, like I won. I'm next. Yeah. All right. Uh, Staring him in the eye, strap on the shield to my uh, arm. And I'll be okay. uh, like hold hold them up like fifty cuff style with one punching arm and one blocking. Okay. Um. And you go first to the Minotaur. That's about to happen. As that's going, the rest of you. Econ is pointing up at the main at the elevated stage to all of you and just saying like. Oh uh, yeah, that woman right there. Right that woman right there. That's uh she's over the railing. There's like this woman right here. There is like a railing blocking off this like the wood section here is like the up 
the uh, elevated level. These are stairs going up to it. There's a railing stopping her from going off, but she's just like drunk here. Um, he's pointing at her and saying, "That's Ray. That's Rayleigh." As uh, Alex is getting in, uh, about to get into a fight, uh, he's pointing her out, and Econ goes, "Well, let's push up there. Let's push up there." And Portia looks like she is headed towards Raytheen. Oh, fuck. And Raytheen and Portia looks like she has a weapon. Where is Vera? Uh, I thought that she had Portia under control. Vera is actually, was actually looking for her. She was down, I think she's down here. I need to put, put her in, but she's... uh. Yeah, she's down here. Actually, she'd be... I'll say she's down here. Yeah, right here. Ooh. She's looking She was looking for... Okay, do we she see... She was looking for Portia, but she can't find but Do she we find her. see that? I'll point all, her out. Yes, you guys see... You guys all see that. I Why? Uh, I, still have uh, a uh, I would like her. to cast a spell. Second and... that happened... I'm going to move you guys, like, a little oh. bit closer. I'd say you guys are, like... Uh, I'd say everyone except uh Shannon is like right here. Well, yeah, you three are wouldn't right I there. Be Shannon, closer since I started off. Huh? Said, so wouldn't I be closer since I started off closer? Yeah. Let's say you're. You can be right here. Cool. And yeah, I think you two are getting. Uh, no, you were with Shannon over here. Let's say you were over here, because that's where you got your drink at. Oh, actually... Uh, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Okay, that's where everybody's at. Throw your spell. Uh... Oh, shit. Rob. Okay. Rob, you're muted. My spell right. is dagger. So, throwing I'm dagger. looking at this, and I'm like... I see, I'm not sure what's happening, but it's enough that I'm like, I this probably is not going to go good. I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Hideous oh. Laughter. Oh, was it, was it you, was it you who wanted to do it or, um, or Brian that wanted to do it? I was just spell. joking when Rob wasn't answering. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Rob. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm you're doing really Hideous Laughter on, Hideous Laughter on Portia? Yeah. I'm like. Ooh, this is gonna hold it, hold it. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, I just don't like where this is going. Um, I'm gonna oh, cast okay. hideous laughter. She needs to make a wisdom saving throw of wisdom fourteen. Wisdom fourteen. Yeah, saving throw. Okay. A DC fourteen wisdom hold saving on. throw. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Hold on. Okay. That is... Okay. Ten. That does not save. Okay. Uh, For some reason, she sees me in the crowd waving at her, and she falls on the ground laughing. She just is in a fit of laughter. Um, she's unable to stand up for the duration of the spell. It's up to one minute. And I'm like, hey, hey guys, um, could you guys go up there and see what's going on, uh, to the rest of the party? She's laughing uncontrolled. She's on the ground laughing. Yeah, I don't think she knows why either. I'm going to make a, it's like, oh yeah, she's like walking up the stairs and going, there you are. There you are, Dane, you <laughs> fucking traitor. <sighs> Finally got you. This, you... <laughs> I fi <laughs> oh, finally got... Oh, God, it's so... <laughs> it's just so drunk right here. <laughs> yeah, she just falls out. And I go, okay. I go, 
Hey y'all, I can only got one minute. Can someone please jump in there? Anybody of my uh, party? As, as that's about to happen, as that hap as that happens, uh, actually, roll initiative. Because as you're doing that, Ooh. some women. Thirteen. Thirteen. I think I go first. I got a twenty-five. Yeah. Roll. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shannon. Fourteen. Fourteen. Dibs. Seventeen. Seventeen. Mona? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, Quixus, yeah, you're up first. Okay. Um, I'm going to run up and... attempt the non-lethal damage with... Hmm. Ooh, that seems to be promising. Uh, With advantage, great. Hmm? Oh, yeah, she's prone probably because she's laughing hysterically. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she is. Oh, uh, that's even better. Uh, still math, though. Uh, 21 to hit. Uh, 21, yeah, that hits. All right. Seven plus eight. Ten. Seventeen points of uh, flashing damage. No, uh, piercing damage. Right, pierce, pierce. Uh, seventeen. Okay. Yep. Uh, well. Flat and uh, not as lethal. Um, trying to knock her back, basically, and say, "Stop that! Stop being insane!" Uh, uh, what was? Uh, what weapon are you using? Uh, rapier. So I'm using the flat-ish part of the rapier. Mm -hmm. Okay. The very it's not a foil. It's a more like a cutlass-style rapier, from what I've seen from pictures. Okay, that does some damage to her. It doesn't seem like it's doing a lot. Not as much as, like, you just stabbed in her. It should be doing a lot more damage, but she... It's like, you're thinking maybe her armor's stronger or something? Um... Yeah. Who's... Next, uh, Vona. Hey, I... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Um... I tap into my shot to have advantage on my attack, and I'm gonna throw a javelin at her, which would be a disadvantage because she's prone. Yeah. But I have advantage, so it's normal roll. Uh, yep. That's sixteen to hit. Sixteen? Uh yes. yes, yes that hits. Alright. Eight piercing, non lethal. We're gonna try and kill this person, right? Uh Say so that it was that was what? Non-lethal? Eight. Piercing. Eight. Eight. Uh, oh, think... Once once again, not as much damage as you think it's doing, as it should do. Yeah. Interesting. I think, I think this Porsche woman can go, but the uh, the Wraith, Wraithine woman uh, we have to talk to. Okay. Well, for my second attack, I'll throw my hand axe. Why isn't it's another sixteen to hit and three slashing? 
it done? It's a what? 16 hit? Yeah. That does yeah. it. Three slashing? Okay, go for it. Yes. One Two. Slash. Okay. That's it. Okay. Um. Hey, uh, DM. Yep? What's this crowd of fresh-faced folk down here? Yeah. Is this a uh, uh don't, worry don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about those. Don't worry about those people. I just need people for a crowd. It's probably nothing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There. <laughs> don't worry about those people. They're boring. They're boring people. Anyway. Uh who's next? Um Dibs is actually your go. Okay. Uh let's see here. 30 20 30. Okay. Let's see here. Oh wait, I guess not everyone is the bad guy. Okay, never mind. Let me just do um I'm going to do a vicious mockery on uh hey, Is this lady here? We're not fighting her actively yet, right? Hmm? No. We've got to talk to her. We don't yeah. think she's the Okay, this is the person that we're kind of up against. Yeah. yeah. Yep, she's currently trying to kill the other person. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Um. Man, I'm just going to cast uh attempt to cast friends on her. Uh, read me friends. You know what? Nope. Vicious mockery on her. Two D four. Vicious mockery. Yeah, it's gonna be five Is that damage. A save? Five. Uh, is that that's like psychic damage, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, is that a save or anything? Or... A wisdom, I believe. Wisdom. Yeah. Uh, it's a twelve. Uh, okay. Never mind. She. Uh, yeah. she oh, that hits. Wisdom fourteen. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. I'd say, man, some bard you are. Uh, how much? How much damage? Five. Five. So not only is she laughing uncontrollably, she. And I'm her just calling out her hair. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Split ends. Vicious mockery. Um. Yeah, as do that. Okay. This, uh, as you're doing that, behind you, you see a woman come up to you. Just like draping herself like across from behind you. Just going like, oh my god. Oh my god, that was so great. You're so cool. Oh my god, tell me more about that. You're so awesome. Uh, I shout, you fast see? friends! <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. Oh my god, you're so funny. Oh my god, tell me more. And he turned, this is like a, this looks like to be like a buddy hutch woman. I've never heard that term before. Uh, I've never heard uh, it Yeah, either. What is what, what is this? <laughs> oh, I encourage you to look that up in Google. Bunny um, Hutch? Yeah. Uh, yeah, right behind you. This looks to be a... Uh, this woman here. Just, it's just a house for Bunny. Uh, 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 yeah, but in... Dragon Connor comic book conventions, you'll see Buddy Hutch Iron Man. So imagine that costume, but like that uh, Playboy Bunny 
but yeah. with like the Iron Man, like the Iron Man arc reactor, and maybe some pulse reactors oh, and I love shit. It. Yeah, so you'll see like oh, Buddy Hutch Deku from uh, uh, Mar- uh from uh, My Hero Academia. It's a it's a common thing. It's a common okay. cosplay thing. Okay, yeah, I'm into it now. Okay, I'm in. Yeah, it. that one yeah. kind of works easily because his outfit looks yeah. like a rabbit though yeah that's a that's a that's a thing at comic book conventions there's buddy hutch nights where yeah anyway um you see a buddy hutch woman uh, walking she, behind you just like uh cosplaying as one of the three she goes it's like oh i like your costume ma'am oh my god that's so sweet <laughs> tell me more about that uh, and as she's doing that, uh, <laughs> she's going to try and make a DC 14 uh, wisdom saving. Uh oh! I rolled a five, but can I okay. do something called lucky? Yeah, absolutely. And re-roll that. Yeah, absolutely. To a seven. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I mean, I'm gonna hundred percent going to allow that. Uh, uh, you have oh, been charmed. Have counter charm. You have been charmed by this woman. <gasps> I mean, you can't be able to be I mean, charmed. Is she dressed like? Sure. Uh, is she dressed like the hammer? Is that her? Uh, yeah, she's a bunny hutch ha- uh, hammer. Oh man. Uh, she's a bunny hutch cult, is what you would call it. I'm. I'm, f- I'm oh, fallen. You are charmed as various, various uh, allies of her, of uh, Portia, pop out throughout the crowd and start attacking all of you. Uh, it's 10 o'clock. Let's oh, yeah. uh, pick this up next time. All right. Uh, I'm going okay. to... It's going to be my turn so hard. 